Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to paint a little flower now. Um, now the good thing is if it doesn't go as planned I can always strip down the thing that I'm working on and start again. So uh, to do this I'm actually going to use a flower that I've seen in images of Mount Ararat to kind of stick to the ethos that I'm going for. Now flower's white but it has a very kind of pinkish vein running through it, set of veins running through it. Um, I think the best approach on this front is to start off with a white and just get the general shape. Now I've never ever tried to paint anything like this before in any real sensible way, uh, best way to put it really. I've never done anything even vaguely like this before. Or at least I've never done anything vaguely like this before. Well, <laughs> so let's have a look here. So let's start off. I'm going to try and get it as central as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a very wet outline of it. That way, if I mess up, at least it can be easily fixed. Okay, now this is this little bit here, and it like that. Then I'm going to have the second main leaf. Enough here. Another leaf. And like this. In the moment it doesn't look much, but hopefully when it's a bit further along it'll start to look a hell of a lot nicer. Right, so there's my first little outline. Just going to let that dry for a second. Okay, just going to try my best now to. Ooh. I'm terrible at dropping things. I'm going to start thickening this white a bit now. Expand that one out a bit more. There you go. Just trying to get that shape just perfect on both sides of this. The flower that I'm copying, I can't think what its name is, but it's one that grows around Mount Araya in the Philippines. So I'm just kind of very slowly build up the, 
the colours one little bit at a time. Now, what I need to do next is potentially to leave that to dry for a little bit. Start to get the shape right. Okay, now I'm going to add, let me find here, a little bit of grey. Now, just finding a grey that isn't, you know, that is just the right shade. Hopefully, this one will do. So what I'm trying to do here is work out where one leaf goes over the other. And then basically this leaf up here, this is my dominant one, it kind of really pokes forward of all the others. Okay. I am getting there. You know what? This might actually work. Um, probably shouldn't be surprised that I'm actually doing this, but you know, I've done a lot of practicing sketching, but I haven't really practiced it. And there is no other way to put it. I've not really practiced it in paint that much yet. So honestly, I just don't know how well this is going to turn out, in all honesty. I'm going to try and look up the actual species of flower before I post this.
okay, getting there. Oh, do you know what? I've got the basic shape. Gosh, that I'm actually surprised at that. That is actually very difficult for me to do. Let's just see if I can very gently. Get rid of anything too much. Oh, you can start to see that now. It's getting there. <sighs> right. Now, this is where it starts getting quite interesting because this flower has some kind of interesting purple veins through it. Now, the purple is a very sweet lilac colour. Um, and I'm thinking the best potential colour is this one here. And the thing is, it's more than just like little bits of purple it's actually like purple veins so kind of get the center in there and then what I need to do is try my best to get this purple now to mix in with that wet one See, it's more than just like. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is this is actually quite painful. Hey, looking nice. I'm actually quite pleased with how this is turning out, I have to admit. It's not quite the... I mean, maybe the purple's not quite the colour I want it to be. It's very deep rather than more lilac, which is really where I wanted to go on this. But we are getting there. I think the other thing is that I need this to be a bit sharpen at the top like that and then if I dab a bit of white over the top it'll 
take it more towards the lilac that I'm after. Oh gosh, that's getting closer and closer and closer now. Okay. Do you know, all it's gonna take is just a little bit more work and I'll be a happy man. You know, it's not exactly a huge thing, this, is it? Right. Now. Now for a vibrant yellow, right? Um, it's basically got this beautiful little sunspot on the top flower. Now, it's not bang in the middle. there so oh, I have to get it big enough to say not so big that it takes up too much space there we go Ooh. oh right you know what I think I've um, just about managed this what do you think huh? so it's just a nice little flower I think maybe Slightly towards the middle, instead of a deep purple there. You might need to add a tiny bit of black just to get the purple out because it's really less purple towards the middle. More of a black colour. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think just change it to a slight bit of black. Okay. Okay, excellent. I'm, do you know I'm feeling this? I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I've never done or tried to do anything this small before. Now, I need some. I need a white around the edges that's a bit brighter just something to highlight the outer edge Okay, you know what? I am very happy with that, considering that I've not really done anything like that before with any success. I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that one, because I'm absolutely, I'm very happy with it. All right, I'm sure there are far, far superior artists to me out there who could do done a better job. But you know what? I'm really happy with what I've got there um so yeah tell me what you think um you know tell me what your thoughts are uh, i'd love to make it better in the future but for now i'm going to stick with that and i'm going to say that's a job done thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe